Welcome back friends. The other day a problem was brought to my attention and today I addressed it. So the issue mainly involves having to drill overhead using this half inch SDS plus concrete bit. And there's a big concern right now for OSHA violations breathing in silica dust. So there is a table one policy and there's different ways that you can go and safely drill into concrete to contain that silica dust. And let me just show you, we'll get the whiteboard out today. So this is the basement that I'm working in. It's in a commercial building. So the distance from the floor to the ceiling is approximately 10 feet. So this is all concrete up here. And then right here, this is the drop ceiling or sus suspended ceiling. So the distance from there to the ground is about eight feet, leaving a two foot distance up in here. So in this space right here, we have different utilities, like we have some cast iron sewer lines running through there. We have some electrical lines, phone lines, different things. And then we have a one inch copper line, and that should be run close to the ceiling here, but we're gonna go to the red right here. So the copper line starts high up here coming into this room, but it drops down and it's laying right on top of the suspended ceiling and goes back up. And what happened, there were three different anchors right here. They're spanned out about 12 feet apart and they pulled out of the concrete. And so then this copper water line is laying right on top of the suspended ceiling. So I was brought in to fix this problem. And that's what I'm gonna show you what I did using my best practices. I don't know if you've ever drilled in concrete, but it gets very dusty. That's that silica dust and it enters your lungs and it never escapes. So it's a bad thing to breathe it in. And that's why OSHA came in to start to regulate the practices for drilling concrete. So if you're drilling up in the ceiling and you have your ladder right here, and let's say there's some other people around you. If you're drilling and all of a sudden that dust is falling down, it can kind of blow all different directions and there's people working around you. They can breathe it in. So it's very important that you contain that silica dust. So today I'm gonna to show you some video clips of this repair and I'm going to show you a dust extractor and a cool accessory by Milwaukee that I used that gave me the compliance to the OSHA table one. So first let's take a look at the dust extractor that I have right here and some of my concerns. Okay, so check it out. This is the Milwaukee eight gallon dust extractor. So it has a fleece filter inside. It has a pleated filter back here. And then after all that, it has a HEPA filter. So this will contain the silica dust. If you use it along with this accessory right here, this is the Milwaukee SDS Max dust extraction attachment. And this will attach to the end of this hose right here. So if you get a good look at this, when you're putting your drill into here, all the dust is contained into here. There's a little hole right there and it draws the dust into this chamber right here. And this causes really nice suction right here onto the wall itself. So you'll see in a minute exactly how this works. And you'll see overhead right here, all these little bristles that keeps the dust from falling out. So there's really an amazing feature. All right, so I just wanna plug this in and show you how this right here sticks to the wall. We'll put it on my garage door first. So I wanna mention if you're interested in finding out more about this Milwaukee eight gallon dust extractor, I will have a comprehensive review on this in a couple weeks on my channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so and hit that bell so you can be notified of when that video drops. All right, so let's go right here. We're gonna turn it on. See, when you turn the vacuum off, it loses the suction and it comes right off the wall. Or you can easily just pull it off the wall too. So I did mention that I have a concern and I'm wondering, will this right here reach a 10 foot ceiling? So if you unwind this hose right here, I measured it and it's about 13 and a half feet long, which is great. And then it actually is, it starts about a foot off the ground. So we're gonna uncoil this. We're gonna attach this right here to it. And we're gonna see if it sticks to the ceiling one thing I'm wondering if some type of 90 degree adapter would be required right here because it's possible that the weight of this hose right here, the leverage right there could pop it off the ceiling. So we're gonna 
check in my garage, which is actually 10 feet, two inches, and see how it works in here. If it works in here, then it'll for sure work at the job site. So then we're gonna turn it on. There is a self-cleaning mode. We wanna make sure it's not in that mode when it's running. I'm happy to say it passed the test. So what I'm gonna to do to correctly fix the problem, I'm going to have it suspended from four different points instead of three. So we're gonna upgrade to these 3 8 concrete drop-in anchors. I picked these up at Home Depot. You can see they're rated for ceiling and floor applications. So just going to this type of anchor in the concrete is a huge upgrade and then going from three to four, that's even that much better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill the hole in the concrete, put that anchor in, and then I have this 3 8 threaded rod and I'm gonna cut it to five inches each one and that screws up into the anchor. And then I have a pipe clamp. It's a copper plated pipe clamp that's made for one inch copper. And that's going to screw onto the threaded rod right here. And then just tighten everything down and we're gonna be good to go. Just add four of these. So. Let's take a look at how the drilling went and everything else. Okay, I'm getting ready to tackle the project by taking out some of the ceiling tiles. And now we're gonna go up above the suspended ceiling and take a look at the issue. You see that copper line right there is laying right on top of this suspended ceiling, laying right on the grids, that's what's holding it up. You see that green plastic anchor has pulled out from the concrete ceiling up above. So we're gonna go to a new anchor. Nine foot seven. Okay, so here on the concrete ceiling, you can see that dust extraction attachment is sticking right to it just fine. And I know it's a little out of focus here, but you can see there's no dust coming out around it at all. It really works nice. Now, after drilling that hole, I'm gonna put the concrete anchor in and set the pin with the hammer. And then now I'm gonna cut the threaded rod right here to about five inches. Now we're going to screw that into the anchor. And then you can see on the bottom part right there is the copper coated clamp. And the one inch copper pipe is going to snug right down tight into the clamp. And then the first one is done. So now we're gonna go on, go hole number two. And you can see it works really well. Hole number three here. No dust at all, you can see it's in better focus. And then the last one, number four, piece of cake. And now this is the final connection right here to get that pipe all the way up. Boom, I'm done. And you can see I'm wearing a breather mask just because it gets really dusty moving those ceiling tiles around. And then when you're done, I recommend taking a flashlight looking up top to make sure you didn't leave any tools laying on top of that suspended ceiling. So you know what to say, I love it when a plan comes together. I was able to lift that one inch copper. Everything went back into place just the way that I want it. And it's nice and securely fastened. So now it's definitely going nowhere. So I really can't say enough good things about this right here, this dust extraction accessory right here. Just works awesome. The eight gallon dust extractor in combination with this, that's nice and quiet, I really like that. So if you wanna know more about those, I do have some links down below. You can check them out on the Home Depot website. You can see the reviews and the ratings and all that. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be happy to respond. Or if you have any comments, I wanna know, how do you handle silica dust? And if you find this video to be interesting, helpful and informative, please give it a thumbs up and help support my channel. That's it friends, thanks for watching. See you next time.